So start to start this this whole thing off. Like, what makes you a fan of Bethesda in the first place? Well, I think I have to remember if it was either Elder Scrolls Oblivion I played first or Fallout New Vegas. It was either one of those two, but of course the other one came shortly right. after. Yeah, but um, yeah, I just fell in love with the gameplay. Like the storylines were great, you know, and then. You have these funny instances where you're just like, oh, that's really awkward or bizarre. Like, that was funny. You know, it just it really gets you into the game. Right. And then, um, yeah, I think that the, I know the moment where I fell in love with Fallout was um, in New Vegas when you're walking up to, um, I want to say it was, uh, oh, now, now I'm going to forget the name of the city. <laughs> I want to say Nifton or something like that. I, probably, I got you. Probably just butchered it. I have a pretty poor memory. No, you're good. You're good. You're but, good. But um, this guy comes running out of the city and he's like, I won. I won. I won the lottery. And you, your character's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> What's happening, right? <laughs> and you go into the city and you find out that the uh, Caesar's Legion has just pretty much burnt everyone at the stake in this oh, city. Oh, God. <laughs> and he was the one lucky guy that got out of there because he had won the lottery. Yo, so that's... like that's I that is the exact moment I was like okay I love this game like right I guess I'm pretty demented I don't know <laughs> <laughs> no yeah that's awesome no that's cool cool storyline yeah yo that's awesome so yeah so you fell in love with like Bethesda and and their game and their games and things like that and you when did that game come out when the that you said that timeline between the two but when did... um I don't remember exactly I didn't um so I like playing video games but I play them pretty slowly so I don't quite often buy the game as soon as it comes out. Right. So both Oblivion and Fallout New Vegas were those ones that I kind of played later on after they had been released. But this is a couple years ago, I'm assuming, right? It's like back in, uh, I want to say like 2010-ish. Okay, okay. So you started playing around, you know, 2010, 11, 12. So it's, it's been a minute. You've been a fan for at least five years. Yes, safely, exactly. Safely, you know, so... You've been following them around and you've been playing their games. Did you ever play Skyrim? Like, ever, yeah. ever you did. Yeah, I went out. Um, so, because I loved New Vegas and Oblivion so much, as soon as they announced that they were going to release Skyrim, I went to the video game store and stood in the cold. And oh, waited you were for out the for it. Yeah. I've done that a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's... I, I did that with Fallout 4, too. Like, yeah. Waiting for it. So yeah. yeah, like that's how you know you're a true gamer is like when you pull up and you're like outside wait. I did that from Call of Duty Marvel for two years, years, years ago as a kid, just like begging my mom to take me across yeah. town, you know, and wait outside. And at the time we had play and trade uh, mm -hmm. around here. And I don't know what's happened to a play and trade or whatever, but they're just dying out because GameStop's just GameStop, you know. Yeah. And it sucked because play and trade will let you come inside. Which was the coolest thing. They'd have you play the game, like the night it's out. So they'd have oh. five TVs and you play it while you're waiting for six hours. And so that's cool. Crunch everybody inside. It's probably safety regulation. Probably, <laughs> probably the first yeah. thing. But and then you like when they shut down. I was like, oh, and I, I can't remember what Call of Duty was. Maybe Black Ops One or Two. And I was like, oh, we got to go to GameStop this year. And I went outside, and they're like, yeah, you have to wait outside till midnight. And I'm yeah. like, it is literally snowing. <laughs> yeah, they always release in the winter time. I know. And what? Like why? <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad it's probably because it's always like you know christmas and all that stuff popping up but yeah yeah no it, it's definitely no bueno but yeah no being a true fan so skyrim though when you play it and all that like did you play consistently like were you super big on the game or oh yeah i i probably i don't even know how many hours i put into it oh man yeah and then you know once i got to a point i was like i'm gonna make another character and then you oh know, geez <laughs> max him out just keep going through <laughs> yeah yeah that's super cool so. i probably played through at least three times really yeah that's, i love skyrim that's respect <laughs> that is respect because the last of us 2 have you ever played that game the, no. no two sorry the last of us the storyline is phenomenal yeah that's what i hear like but phenomenal Oh, I have the hardest time with scary games. Cause, oh, it like, is. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of scary. Yeah, like I, I have a hard time playing through um, the uh, Silent Hill games, too. Oh, Because, no. like, I just, I'm, you know, uh, I'm playing uh, and I'm like, ah, and drop the controller. And, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, no. And, it, yeah, that could definitely be scary. But, yeah, The Last of Us came out and I loved it so much. I played it twice. Yeah. And I was just like, I was, you know, so when I say here, you say three times, I'm like, man, that is some dedication. <laughs>